Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video which is Back to Basics 11.5. It's an addition or amendment to the last Back to Basics video. If you've not seen it, I'll link it in the top right, Back to Basics 11. On that video, we went to Simbrief and we inputted our own flight route. Go and watch that video, I'm not going to go through it again here. And then we chose one of the su suggested routes, which is this one here. That part went okay. We came back to the flight simulator. I showed you how to input it manually. And also automatically. On both ways, one of my viewers on that video, uh, Randef, go and watch the video. You can actually see his comment. I've linked it. He mentioned f to SWB and from SWB. Look at that. We've got like almost four thousand nautical miles so obviously that's not the right swb now the fms didn't give us the choice when we entered it but i'm going to show you in this video an easy fix for this and i'm actually also going to show you like i said it's an addition how you can tell that each of these waypoints like D B P K B P K and hon how you can actually choose and make sure that these are the white the correct waypoints that we should be choosing because you often you get a choice i'm going to show you from simbrief in fact how you can see that these ones are the correct ones okay so let's not dilly dally let's get on with the video So we're in the cockpit of the 146. I've actually restarted because I'm going to re-enter uh, re this flight from scratch. So I showed this in Back to Basics 11, which I linked before. How to get your pilot ID and then you can enter your route into your tablet. I'm going through it quickly here because I've already showed this. And this part as well, how to auto automatically load your flight plan into the FMS. Index key, next. Again, go and watch Back to Basics 11 if you want me. If you want to see me do this slowly, and then root menu and flight plan recall. So let it load in. It should come up with the first waypoint where it's, we've got a choice BPK. Now, interestingly, on this one, it's got EG after the uh, waypoint. I believe that stands for the English waypoints EG. If you look at the airport codes, a lot of them have EG at the beginning of them. So I believe that is correct. That stands for the English waypoints. But we can be doubly sure here. One one seven decimal five zero. Let's just switch to Simbrief. And I showed this in Back to Basics eleven. How to load your flight plan, and then when you've loaded it, generate the flight. It will say, "Do you want to re?" For my, in my case overwrite the plan that I've got in. It's the same flight plan, so it doesn't matter. I'm just overwriting it. Because I want to get to this next page. Scroll down past the map until you get to this writing here. Scroll down in the window until you get to flight log. Just a bit down. It's here. I almost went past it. Flight log. <laughs> okay, so flight log. And what we're looking at here, we're looking for BPK. You can see we've got our star... Go past the star until you get to BPK. Underneath BPK, you can see the uh, frequency, 117.50. Let's switch it back to the sim. And as you can see, 117.50. So we know that is doubly sure now that that one is the correct one. So we can choose that. Should come up again in a moment for Hon. How can we tell? Well, it's got EG after it. That's a good indication. But also check the frequency 113.65 if i keep switching obs it might crash because well i'll tell you why in a moment actually so hon yeah 113.65 you can see that here switch it back to the sim we know that top one is the correct one let it keep going Ah, now, in this case, it's given us a choice of SWB. Doesn't always. I've noticed sometimes it will give you the choice, sometimes it doesn't. I'm going to enter this bottom one. I know this bottom one is wrong, it's the top one, but often it will just auto-load 
that top one, that bottom one rather. And we can just execute that. And if we look at our flight plan, especially, oh, look at our, not our flight plan, look at our legs page. Show this in Back to Basics 11, how to do this. After the Hon, you can see two SWB is 4,000 nautical miles. From SWB is almost 4,000 4, nautical miles as well. So we know that one is incorrect. If you're in this position when you've got something similar, there's an easy fix for this. Press your clear button down here. Actually scrolling a bit, it's clear delete, but just press that. Delete will come up here. And press the button next to the waypoint you want to clear. In my case, it's SWB. I can execute that. Now, I want to re-enter that. But before I do, I'm going to go back to the previous page. And on this, this is probably just for the 146 other aircraft. Maybe similar, but just double check. You've got a sequence here, auto or inhibit. I want to change it from auto, that's currently active, into inhibit. And that will let me choose the waypoints. It won't just automatically enter them. So there you go, it's inhibit is highlighted now. Go to the next, after Hon, go to the next page. I want to re-enter it, so, so let's just type it in first. SWB. If you want to enter it before wall and after Hon, which is on the previous page, press the button on the waypoint you want to enter it before. It will enter it before this wall. So if I press wall there, SWB will insert. Well, first it will give us the choice. Like I said, I, I wanted to show you because sometimes it does give you the choice on auto entry. Uh, not always though. But how can we be sure? It's got EG after it. It's a good indication. But 116.80. 116.80. So we look down at SWB, which is here, 116.80. We know that's the correct waypoint. It's just the way, and it's a good way. I'm pretty sure real-world pilots would do a similar thing. Double-check frequencies to make sure that they are lined up with the correct frequencies. So let's switch it back to the sim. We know that top one is the correct waypoint there. So we click that and execute. If we look at our legs page now, you can see it's more realistic. 2 SWB, 40, 45 nautical miles. From SWB, around 40 nautical miles. We haven't done our SIDs and STARS, but we, I'm just doesn't matter for this video. I'm just showing you how you can correct errant waypoints or waypoints that don't come up into your FMC, FMS correctly. And now you can see this is all correct. It's more realistic to the route. Now, interestingly, if I restarted and entered this manually, so my departure and destination airport on the flight plan, put that in first, and then go to your legs page and start entering all these in, ensure that you got inhibit highlighted for each waypoint you're entering. That way it will give you the choice if there's more than one uh, waypoint. And double check with your, let me just show you again, double check with your sim brief, after you've generated the flight plan in the flight log just to make sure the frequencies match up well listen i hope that's been interesting i do feel it was important to make this video especially after that mistake in the last video thanks randef for pointing that out i really do appreciate that let me know your thoughts if this has been helpful i'm sure it will be for many people i hope Give the video a like, subscribe for more many of these types of videos on their way, and I'll see you soon.